this is the new short scale Stingray from Ernie Ball Music Man. And y'all, it is awesome. So the Music Man Stingray has been around since 1976 with its super distinct tone and very particular shape. It's something that you know right off the bat once you see it. And now with the addition of this new short scale model, you get that signature Stingray feel, playability, and most importantly, quality and tone, but now in a much more compact 30 inch scale length package. So before we get started, and for the sake of transparency, I do wanna say that Ernie Ball Music Man has provided me this bass for the video. I do wanna say a big thank you to Ernie Ball, and of course for all of y'all for watching. So let's just get into it. Starting with that signature Stingray body, to me, this is just such a beautiful and just classic looking bass. I absolutely love the Stingray shape, not only in terms of the looks, but playability too. Since this is a short scale bass, it does have a smaller body, but it's super comfy. The body itself is made out of ash and also features this super comfortable rounded arm contour in the front as well as the belly contour in the back. Overall, this bass is just very compact and has a very slick and very quick feel to it that is just so much fun to play. <laughs> Then going into the absolutely beautiful Starry Night finish. I absolutely love this color. And I never really thought that a really sparkly glittery base would really just catch my eye as much as this one has. But man, just that super deep bluish gray color with the sparkle on top of it looks so good. For your controls, you have three knobs. The first being your volume knob, which also has a push pull function that gives you a volume boost when you pull it. Next is your three-way rotary switch. And this is super cool because even though you only have one humbucker, you're able to split it into three different voicings that can completely change your sound. In position one, both coils are in parallel. In position two, it's just single coil mode. And then in position three, you have both coils in series. And then finally, you have your overall tone knob. And then all those knobs control, to me, what is the star of the bass, Music Man's Neodymium Passive Humbucker. And this humbucker just has such a loud, gnarly, in-your-face growl to it that I absolutely love. Basically, if you love that signature sound that you get out of Stingray humbuckers, you're gonna love how this sounds. For your bridge, you have Music Man's own chrome steel bridge with vintage nickel plated steel saddles. And this bridge looks and feels like it is just made of nothing but pure quality. Turning the base around, you see the sculpted neck joint that feels absolutely superb to me. And I just love the fret accessibility that you have no matter what string you're on and no matter what note you're trying to hit. Moving up, you have your 22 stainless steel fret roasted maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. And y'all, this base feels absolutely incredible. I absolutely love being able to go up and down the fretboard with absolute ease and nothing holding me back. It just feels so effortless. The main thing about this neck, to me at least, is how slick it is. It has an unfinished back to it that just feels so good. And it's really the main thing about playing this bass that feels so right. right. Moving up to the headstock, you see Ernie Ball's custom compensated nut that keeps tuned perfectly, as well as Music Man's chrome tuners. They're very sturdy, extremely lightweight, and they hold tuned perfectly. So over 
overall for the short scale Stingray, I really think there is nothing wrong with this bass at all. I absolutely love the feel, playability, and tone that you can get out of this bass. Whether you want it to be more laid back and chill, or you want to be in your face rock style, you have that signature thump and growl from a Stingray. Then on top of that, you have it in the short scale 30 inch scale length that makes it easier for people with smaller hands or people who are just beginning to go ahead and get into bass too. Makes it a lot easier overall. And with me personally, I love playing short scale basses just because of how fun it is to just go through that fretboard up and down as fast as possible. And most importantly, where I think this bass truly soars is the overall quality of every little thing on it. This is my first real time getting to really test out a genuine Ernie Ball music man. Just the overall quality throughout this bass from head to toe is miraculous. I love playing it. It sounds so full play so effortlessly, and man, it's just a really awesome bass, y'all. But of course, as always, let me know what you guys thought about the short scale Stingray. A huge thanks to Ernie Ball for sending this out to me, as well as a big thank you to all of you for watching as always. If you like this video and wanna see more like it every single week concerning bass, bass gear, bass demos, bass everything, go ahead and subscribe. And of course, as always, a hug, kiss, and a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Mwah. If you want to help support the channel as well as be included in early access to videos, giveaways, and more like these beautiful people right over here, head over to my Patreon page. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, for liking, subscribing, for sharing these videos, for following me on social media, you know, all that crazy stuff. Thank you all so much. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, and I'll see you all next time.